Cambodia's Prime Minister Hun Sen is likely to continue leading the country's 14 million people, political watchers say, despite excitement over the opposition leader's return. Sam Rang Si returned from self-imposed exile last Friday to contest Sunday's election and was welcomed by tens of thousands of supporters in Phnom Penh. He was granted a royal pardon to avoid a jail term from 2010 on charges of spreading disinformation and falsifying maps to contest a new border agreed by Cambodia and Vietnam. The 64-year-old joined the campaign to unseat long-serving incumbent Hun Sen, but Cambodia's Constitutional Council ruled that he will not be able to vote even though he is a Khmer citizen. Some experts disagree with the decision. Law also said that uh, the, only the court can withdraw the right to vote from any person. Uh, but only if uh, that person commit any specific crime and must write clearly in the judgment. Uh, but for some C case, uh, case, the court do not, uh, do not uh, write any uh, additional punishment, withdraw this, the, the right of, to vote of uh, some C. Uh, so that's why he has right to vote. Rang Si supporters say they are looking for change and want his party to win the majority of seats in parliament. Hun Sen, a former commander in the genocidal Khmer Rouge, has built up a formidable electoral machine through his ruling Cambodian People's Party. It easily outguns the opposition with a compliant media, an election system that is prone to government meddling, and CPP's deep pockets. Campaign posters for the ruling party are plastered throughout the capital, and any attempt to remove them can be punished with a fine. Hun Sen is seen as authoritarian by critics who say the people are poorly educated and afraid of the authorities finding out if they would vote for other candidates. The two main opposition parties joined forces last year and are expected to improve on the combined 29 seats they won at the last elections in 2008 in the 123-seat parliament. Preliminary results are expected on election day, but it normally takes up to a month for official results to come out.